I'm just watching that uh, watching that player come down along with Nick here uh, in, in his as he moved his he's standing next to the camera watching this come down the flares and we don't know what was on the other side of that and what happened to anyone underneath it and that of course is the real tragedy of the situation we're in right now Lieutenant Colonel Jonathan Conriquez joins me now the Israeli Defense Forces International Spokesperson Colonel I appreciate your time again tonight um, you had the Israeli Defense Minister uh, with troops today saying um, that you will soon see you see Gaza now from a distance you will soon see it from out and from inside I'm sorry the command will come Nick Robertson just reporting I know as you heard that he's seeing an uptick of activity on the border with Gaza we just saw that explosion here live so is a ground war imminent is it is it truly in a position now where the command has already done the the army can do when go when it's ready is that how it is good evening thank you for having me again um, the situation is that the IDF is deployed along uh, the Gaza Strip. The reserves are ready, equipped, uh, mission-oriented, and um, standing by uh, for the next stage of our operations. But at this time, of course, we will not advertise when, where, and how we will uh, uh, advance or do and, or enhance our military activities. Uh, in ground activity is one of the options, one of the tools at our disposal. So I also want to ask you about that, the missiles that are breaking news that we led our program with tonight, Oren Lieberman reporting that a U.S. warship near Yemen intercepted fire that the Pentagon believes was intended for Israel. These rockets were coming from far away from the Red Sea, even aiming at the south of Israel. Uh, this is a much further distance than anything else we're talking about. And they came from Iranian-backed militias, according to the U.S. Is this an escalation from Iran, Colonel? Well, all of the information currently is coming out of the Pentagon, and we haven't briefed about it yet. Of course, we are in touch uh, with our American counterparts, but uh, all of the official information is based on U.S. sources. At this time, I can only say that our air defenses are ready, of course, taking into consideration the various weapons that we know Iranian uh, militias have, Iranian terror organizations around the Middle East, both in Syria, in Yemen, in Lebanon, in Iraq, in uh, Gaza, and uh, anywhere else. And wherever they will try to fire from, if they do, then our air defenses will be ready and uh, yeah. we will respond accordingly. More than 60 alleged Hamas operatives were arrested today in the West Bank, and uh, that's a lot. Do you believe there are a lot more Hamas militants in the West Bank right now? Yes, uh, Hamas has built, has, it has actually spent a lot of money, time and resources on uh, building infrastructure, uh, personnel, but also physical infrastructure in the Dan Samaria, in Hebron, in Jenin, uh, in Nablus and many other locations. We of course have been attacking that infrastructure even before this war against uh, Hamas in Gaza happened uh, or, or erupted. Uh, so this is an ongoing situation, exasperated by the war that Hamas launched. Uh, we continue to operate in Judea and Samaria together with the ISA based on very accurate intelligence, and we arrest different terrorists, some of them in a preemptive arrest so that they won't be able to execute terror attacks that we know are in the works, and some for other purposes. The aim here is to maintain stability to protect Israeli communities, Israeli <coughs> lives, and to make sure that this doesn't escalate okay. into another battlefront. Colonel Conriquez, thank you very much. I appreciate your time. And I want to go straight to Seth Jones. Uh, he is Senior Vice President of the Center for Strategic and International Studies, uh, which is at the forefront of the international conflicts in this one, uh, this war zone. Mm -hmm. U.S. government relying heavily on Seth's work and the work of his colleagues uh, in this war. So Seth, I know, you know, sometimes when you're not here, it's because you're in those meetings. So uh, tonight we have a chance to ask you what you know. You just heard the IDF spokesperson talking, uh, the Pentagon confirming that a U.S. warship near Yemen shot down three missiles launched by Iran <coughs> Houthi forces. That's what the U.S. is saying. I know you had a chance to speak to U.S. officials about this today. You, you're in the loop on what they know. So what is this? And, and, and is this coordinated at all with what we're seeing from Hamas? 
Yeah, thanks, Aaron. These are great questions. Um, I think the concern as we take a look at the region right now is uh, that there is escalation right now. Uh, the, uh, the Houthis who shot the land attack cruise missile and the drones are uh, funded, aided, and their weapons are provided by the Iranians, particularly the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Quds Force. Uh, but we've also, Warren indicated some of this as well, but we've also seen attacks against U.S. bases, two separate ones in Iraq, as well as in Syria within the last 48 hours. One U.S. Uh, forces at al Tamf in Syria, the other one up at the Conoco oil field. In addition to that, we've seen fire exchanges along the uh, Israeli-Lebanese border, and then obviously what's happened in the West Bank as well. Those are multiple locations. Uh, Iran has links with all of those organizations. We don't know at this point uh, to what degree Iran has actually orchestrated. These groups do not are not all puppets of the Iranian government, but it is a concern that we're seeing some escalation here. And so I know you also have been in contact with Israeli officials, and you know we hear the defense minister saying soon you'll see the inside of Gaza. What's the latest you're hearing about the, the Gaza plan? Well, two things. One is, uh, is I think the, the Israelis are indicating that they need to have a presence on the ground. Uh, that, you know, we're not clear at this point what the size of the force that's going to go in and how long it's going to go in for, but that it will definitely have a ground presence. But I'm also hearing uh, some, what I'll call sort of good news, is the IDF is definitely thinking about sort of reconstruction efforts uh, after buildings are destroyed and letting in some humanitarian uh, uh, activity into Gaza. So it's not just pure military operations that are as part of the planning process. All right, Seth, thank you very much. And next, President Biden is about to address the nation. We've got new details coming up on exactly what he's going to be focused on in his remarks uh, moments away. Plus, dispatches from Gaza. We bring these to you. And tonight, CNN journalist Ibrahim Dahran, who is trapped in Gaza with his young family, He's giving out front daily updates, and tonight he's going to tell you about the strikes and the increase he's seen in strikes coming in. Remember, there is no water, and there is no Iron Dome there. And I speak to a group of brave men who banded together to stop Hamas. And as you will hear, they found out that Hamas knew things about their community that they, as the security and people living there, didn't even know. Welcome. For those of you who don't know, the Medicare Advantage and Prescription Drug Annual Enrollment Period is now open. That's right, 2024 plans are now available. This is the only time of the year when anyone on Medicare can call and get a Medicare Advantage plan. We are opening up the phone lines now and inviting anyone to call in with questions or to find a plan available in your area. Can we show that number on the screen big for all of our viewers at home? Just call 800-385-1724 now. There are so many Medicare Advantage plans out there. So how do you know what plans are available to you? Our licensed insurance agents mm. are standing by to take your call. Speaking of calls, we're going to go on to the phone show. Don't be alarmed, no matter how much scary news there is. A song by Paul Beckman, probably Rainbow Song, also the new and first leader of humankind in the free world, created October 19th, 2023. <clears throat>
the show. It's what you would say, God. Ja. The soul. Now, I may not be an expert, but I feel that I know enough due to my love of yoga and meditation. And the higher mysteries of yoga and meditation therein, philosophically, I have gleaned. And so I'll impart now On the spiritual level, on the level where constancy resides, constancy in things that never change, they'll always be the same. And that's where our true nature lies. Yes, you might think your true nature is just this body, but the body fleets and perishes. Emotions fluctuate and the thoughts fleet, all showing an impermanence. And so our true self that we must really be cannot be all of that, even though we identify so much as the body, emotions and thoughts. our whole world. Yet we are so much more than that. In fact, we are universal and void mind. Linked to that. We are that. But until you have experiences and understanding and faith, just letting you know for you. Your true nature is constant and shall never die. So no matter what scary news you hear soon or tonight or today or whenever, don't be upset too much. Everything is gonna be alright. Everything is alright. The human world may change Relativity reigns, but that's just there. Your true nature is beyond that. Your true nature is beyond that. Your true nature is beyond that. Your true nature is constant.
Thank you. Namaste. I honor the divine and all. <coughs> For an explanation of my mainstream name, Paul Beckman, New Cain Pali Rainbow Song, and an utterance saying, also the new and first leader of humankind on the free world, please go to Internet Solutions and Songs 24-7 at Pali Rainbow Song Bio on YouTube. Look for a playlist called Movie Song Reviews by Palu. And then there, look for <coughs> any videos and song videos that come under the category of a special note. So I'll give you an explanation for all that, plus more. Thank you very much. God bless. <coughs>